together again. So, hey, so today we got something special. Today we're here in Houston, Texas with High Cut Tent. And we're about to do a demonstration on why not to use global film, soul control film. And I'm gonna show you today. I attended this car back in 2019. And I'm supposed to have five year warranty if the back window starts to bubble. Not due to me, but due to the film being out sitting on the lot for literally two years. So it sat in the back of the lot for uh, for two years. I don't know if you want, you want to take a look right here, show the viewers what is it that we have to work with. Basically, what ended up happening was that the tent started to bubble, start start to basically ripple all the way around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a couple cars a day that had the same problem. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna replace all the back windows on all the vehicles that had this, uh, basically this problem. So what we're gonna show you is why not to use soil control window films. Uh, currently I'm using SunTech film, which is thumbs up. Uh, so we're gonna show you that today, so stay tuned. So what I'm doing here guys, I'm basically putting water, baby shampoo, and I'm using scotch. I'm gonna show you everybody what is it that I'm using in order for y'all. Basically, so you have to get things going basically. I use scotch bright. What this does is it removes all the dirt from staying on the back glass. So whenever I shrink, the film literally has no debris underneath the film, so we're getting rid of all the dust debris that has been stuck on the car for a while. And remember, non-scratch. You don't want customers complaining that the bag will be scratch or anything like that. So today we're gonna give you a quick tip on what to use, what not to use when it comes to doing window tent. So, okay, right now we're gonna clean back window, make sure this, you know, Nothing, we're gonna start shrinking the back window. So I got I got two of the same cars that I'm gonna do today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink both patterns at the same time. So basically I don't waste time when it has to when it has to do with uh, shrinking the back window. Now we're applying some uh, fabric softener sheet in order to start shrinking the back window, make it easier on us. So what we're doing here is basically drying up the dryer sheet to make the process easier, get it going, you know, and get the stains rolling. All right, guys, so as y'all can see here, you see how the film's rippled up. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm going to remove the, the film and I'm going to show y'all what type of chemical is it that I use in order to get rid of the adhesive the easiest way. Uh, a degreaser called Purple Stuff that's sold by a chemical company called Stinger Chemicals. So what we're gonna do here, if you're about to see, I'm gonna rip this whole tin off because the adhesive is what ended up rippling, not the film. It was the adhesive. So, so I can see. This will happen. Tin will fade. Color of the tin will fade. And the pizza will end up ripping. I have here some purple stuff, and I have some liquid tin, uh, liquid tinner. So basically, it's some 
I'm gonna throw some thinner in there a little bit. If I'm able to get some out of there. And remember, this chemical is pretty strong, so. Like, I think I need more. Maybe I need more, but don't worry. Don't use Zip, ZEP from Home Depot. Do not use these, they suck over time. So, okay, purple stuff, we're going with some purple stuff in the meantime. And this chemical is a strong chemical. So, be aware. <laughs> Smell, it's strong. So I applied both, some lacquer tinner, and I applied some purple stuff. Man, it does some magic up in here. So this is the lacquer tinner right now. I'm putting it. You can find this at Walmart. It's almost like 15 bucks, but you can find it at Walmart for sure. So liquid tinner, it's called thinner. I don't know how to say it, uh, but I don't know it's called thinner. So find it at Walmart and some purple stuff. The greaser. This is used for automotive detailing, but I use it for the specifically for this. And then I use the Scotch Bright, non-scratch. You can use the scratch if you want to scratch the glass, but I recommend not to. Uh, but yeah, just let it sit there for a couple seconds, and then you'll see whenever I first scratch. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spray some baby with some baby Johnson Johnson shampoo and water and basically just wipe it down because it already sat there for maybe about two minutes. So rinse it out. And before I even start, I'm gonna show y'all. They sell this tool at the tent store. I mean, tent store, never mind, tent shop. Um, basically you put it in there and you're able to reach the, the parts that uh, I'm not gonna be able to reach. So they sell this at the 44 Tools, if you wanna get one. Uh, or check Amazon, find you a, a deal. But look, as you can see, after doing, after applying the chemical, the degreaser, all it's doing is, with this, I'm removing it. It's, you had to apply some, some basically some force you gotta put some work basically and if you want to get this back angle clean you gotta clean it right Scrubbing the whole, scrubbing the whole bag window with this, I decided to say, do not get this. I repeat, do not get this. This took me more than what I thought it would usually take me. Sketch, get the Scotch Bright, the one that scrapes the glass. Not not literally scrapes the glass, but literally it's more a, uh, it has more grip to it, more grip, grip, grit, whatever you want to call it. But this is soft. So basically you need something that's gonna be more aggressive to the back glass on removing the back glue. So I recommend the green ones, not the blue ones. I don't know if y'all seen the Scotch green. Those are the perfect ones. So after doing the whole process, basically clean the whole back window with the degreasers and the Scotch Bright. Basically we clean back the we're basically cleaning the window. So we can already get ready to install. I made sure I basically cleaned the window like three times. And sometimes it's not, there's nothing wrong with a four time because I noticed that there's still a little bit of glue here that I need to remove. So it's always good to reinspect your back window several times, especially the back window. Why? Because 
there's a lot of picky customers out there. So in order to avoid having to hear a customer complain, just take your time. Learn from the learn from the best. Why? Because I've encountered several experiences where I do not clean the back window as good as I should. And I have to end up replacing it at the end. So always repeat yourself. Always repeat the process one, two, three times as long as you do the job. I always wet my fingers. I jump from spot to spot to make sure that the tin doesn't come with me as I remove the liner. After I do that, put my hands underneath. And I repeat, this is uh, this is SunTech Standard Pro, so for a fact, there's not gonna be no rippling after two years. Uh, color is gonna maintain, it's gonna stay the same. So I honestly recommend this film. Even though it's, uh, it's lighter, thinner than Sun Control, which is the film that I was using before I started using SunTech, which Sun Control is good. Great brand, uh, great thickness on the film, easy to handle. But Suntec is by far I like the color of it, I like the way it, it shrinks itself. After I've done the first squeeze, I redo another squeeze because it just gives me more of a reassurance that there's not going to be no bubbling back. Everything does look good. So all I, I gotta do is just heat up this finger. Push it back in. So you can see, just heat it up and it should be gone. And there it goes. Everything's gone. And I'm gonna go take the other side and make sure everything's good. Everything is good, and I just gotta heat up another spot right now. So the good thing about this film is whenever there's 
something like a little minor scratch on the film. Whenever you heat it up, it disappears. Every, all the all the defects on the film disappear. But this back window looks better than before for sure. Oh, hey. All right, so as we are finalizing on this back window, so basically, basically the whole point of this video was to show y'all what ended up happening after I installed this film back in 2019. We are now in 2021. I installed this film in uh, 2019, so it took two years for this back window to end up rippling, bubbling up with the film that I was using during that time, which was whole control. So after I removed this film and I worked with this film, I ended up finding out that all the windows, all, as you can see, all the side windows here, are solo control. But the thing is, these haven't rippled up. These have been good. The only thing, the only problem that I've had, had has been the back window. Why? Because the sun is always, always hitting the back window, toasting. It's literally toasting the tent. So it, basically, this film do not use it. It does, doesn't give you the warranty. They, they, they don't. They don't basically sell what they're telling you they're selling. Uh, so do not, do not use this film. So if uh, you want to follow me on Instagram, High Cut Tent. Follow the link down right here below. You want to follow me on my personal? Follow the link right here up above me. You want to follow me wherever you want to follow me. Just stay tuned.